Hello, hello! It is Monday night and it is time to be live. Time to share a, another stamping idea. And I'm excited that you have joined me. Thank you. Thank you for being here with me. I love sharing in these videos. Um, just a lot of times don't really have a goal other than to just share and just hang out. So hello to those of you I see popping on. Um, if you saw the description, you see what this video is about. I just can't get enough of just my type. And if you watched the Great American Stampin' Show from, um, I don't know, four days ago, that was our featured stamp set. So if you like that stamp set, you have to go watch those videos. Go over into, um, I posted in here about it with the link, or go over to my YouTube channel, watch my video, and then in the description, you'll see the links to the other three videos of my three competitors. And uh, it, there's still plenty of time to vote, so give the thumbs up and you can vote. But anyway, that's a side note. Tonight, I um, when I was preparing for that video, I... Uh, had extra ideas that I didn't use and tonight I want to show you one of those and so I'm going to now flip my camera around and put it in place so that you all can see let's see if we can do kind of a smooth transition here I've got it all set up so oh I'm so happy that you're all joining me it's fun to see your faces popping up and your names as well um, I would love to hear a little bit about what you're up to, what you're making lately, I don't know, anything that you want to tell me. I love reading all your comments. And this is my color scheme. It's kind of a weird color scheme. I don't know, I, I usually choose like a, a pink and a yellow and a blue of some sort. So this is a, <laughs> this is a departure for me, I guess. And so I'm going to start with yellow and then... Let's see, I realize now I forgot one thing. So hold on, I gotta grab a extra piece of white cardstock. Should have that, nope, that's vanilla. So this one should work. Okay, Daffodil Delight. So first things first, this is just gonna be a little note card. I love making note cards. They're kinda like really low commitment and don't take a ton of effort. You don't have to fill up a, a lot of space. As you might have noticed with my cards, I don't have like a lot of, I don't do like a lot of layers and stuff on my cards. And that's because sometimes I can't think of what to do. <laughs> when I see other cards with like a billion layers, I think they're so beautiful. When I'm making cards myself, a lot of that stuff doesn't come to mind. So I end up with just one layer and that's what this one is going to be. So my blending brush, and I did use this one for green. I try to keep them in um, color schemes together. So these are these need to be washed out they have a lot of color in them these three do but you can see I try to keep like pink purple blue green um, and I know that this one because yeah it's got a little bit of green left in it but as long as it doesn't have a lot of intense color you can pick up a new color and um, go for it with the new the new one so yellow I'm going to just do let's see I probably should test on my paper yeah it looks fine so daffodil delight I'm going to make I'm going to put my typewriter down here in this section. So I will, I'm going to make like color to go behind it. That's my goal here. And the funny thing is, I am using the typewriter again, but in the Great American Stampin' Show round five, only two of us used the typewriter and the other two did not. This stamp set is so versatile. I'll just let you peek at it for a minute. It's got a plant, it's got a rainbow, heart, flowers. Um, I think I actually have one other idea I'll show to you tonight because I, like I said, after tonight I'm moving on. I'm going to use a different stamp set in the things that I do in the future. Okay, I think that's pretty good there, so I'll stop there. So this card is going to be all about doodling. I don't know if you've ever doodled, but I love doodling. I'm not one to just sit and draw because, I, again, I don't like... I can't think of things to doodle, but I like doodling around stuff or doodling with um, text and words. I like that, or just writing. Um, let's see, I don't, people call that different stuff. They don't call it doodling. What do they call it? Just lettering, I think, is the more um, trendy term. Okay, so I'm just going to draw a box. It's just kind of a different way. This is just a, I don't know, this is the pe the type of pen that I use for all of my writing cards and everything that I do, my taking notes at work. 
Um, so I'm just going to do two layers of these and try to overlap them, but I don't want them to overlap perfectly and I don't want them to be completely crazy. So that looks pretty good. You can see just gave it two little doodle boxes there. Kind of, um, I don't know, give it some boundaries, I suppose. And now we're ready to stamp the typewriter. So I'll do the typewriter in fresh freesia. And where's my my cardstock? There we go. So whoops, I realize I'm off screen. Woo, watch out. Ah! All my inks are running together. Okay, there we go. And you can easily see, make sure that that transfers nicely. Perfect. My typewriter looks amazing. And I'm also going to need a little letter. And I got a little piece of white cardstock for that too. This was just a scrap, but it's actually perfectly the right size. So I need to, well, except for it's too long. So where are my snips? I'm going to cut it off a little bit so it's just a little bit shorter. But it needs to be long enough to tuck down behind the typewriter. So this is going to be my letter. Now the stamp set comes with letters that you can stamp, but both of those, like once I was started doing the doodling, these felt really heavy and the words did too. So that's why I've kind of gone away from that a little bit. So, I mean, you know, if you hate this idea and you don't like drawing and writing, just take it for what it's worth and move on. <laughs> this isn't for you. <laughs> but um, this is a really fun idea for me, somebody that really enjoys lettering and doodling. We've got this little heart here from the stamp set. Let me see, I need to see how dark that is. That's pretty dark, but I think it's gonna be okay. Just stamp it right in the middle of the letter and you could leave it like that. So that makes it a love letter in my view, or I'm gonna write something over it. So you could write happy birthday or whatever. I'm gonna write congrats. So let's see, let me make sure that I'm on the screen. And sometimes I practice beforehand, you know, on grid papers, perfect, because then you can kind of see if you're keeping a straight line there. And that looks pretty good, so I'm just gonna go for it. It's about the right width. Okay, that looks good. Um, so there we go. You could do, block lettering is always really safe. Like if you wanted to try this, but you don't like your handwriting, you could always just do like that. Do a nice little block lettering. So that looks good, okay. Now this, I'm gonna um, curl the edges just a little bit. So those, so that kind of pops off the page like that. Cute, and then I think a dimensional or two will help that just stick right in place. You know, I probably wanna stick that down though, this part down with some snail, excuse me, some seal, there we go. So that's ready once our typewriter is ready, okay. So now the last step, we need to do a little doodling on this typewriter. And so it matches the style. So I'm gonna just outline everything that you see here. And this takes a minute, but it really helps the image stand out. And also it's really fun and kind of relaxing. So I enjoy this and encourage you to try it as well. So I'm just outlining all of the ink and if you mess up, it doesn't even matter because this is a one of a kind work of art. And I am gonna fussy cut this out too when I'm finished. So it does take a little bit of patience, but honestly, you're gonna see how fast this card comes together. And when you start doing die cutting and all of that, definitely would take a lot longer. Okay, so that's, that looks good. Next step, I'll just doodle all of the or outline all of the keys and you can see hopefully you can see let me see if I can yeah I'm not doing them perfectly and that adds to the look so there's a little bit of white showing sometimes there's a little bit of um what is this color fuchsia Fre freesia fresh freesia um but that's okay because when it's all done it's so easy when you're making a card to just really obsess about one tiny portion. But when you get finished and then you stand back and you look at it all together, 
you're looking at the whole thing. You're not zeroing in like you are when you're making it. Okay, this part right here is the funnest part, if you ask me. So, boy, I'm kind of being sloppy right now, though. That's okay. Okay, I'm trying to outline these fairly reliably. And then the last step here is I'm going to fill these in. So I'll just put like one or two lines down each of these. Because like if you look like an actual typewriter, it has all of those keys in there that flip up when you when you click, when you when you hit the numbers, letters. <laughs> so there's a lot more than yeah, than what shows there. So that's why I like that because it shows like if if you if you've used a typewriter, you know what I'm talking about. Those keys all sit in there or whatever they call them and they they flip up. So that looks perfect to me. Let's do a little fussy cutting and get this ready to put on our card. And what else do I have to tell you? I didn't get I didn't get the video up, so I can't really see your comments. But I see Tammy McCandless is watching. Hi Tammy. That's my old roommate. Excuse me, my roommate. She's not old. We're not old. And well, it's fun to see a few of the rest of you. Your names, I didn't catch the rest of them. I can't see your comments, darn it. I wish I could. But I will go back and read them. Okay, so I need to focus on getting this cut out. Otherwise, it's going to take me all night. <laughs> so these three colors layered together. I suspect this little note card would look good in almost any color scheme. I actually went back and forth for a minute. I was going to do wild wheat because I really love that color, but then I felt like the typewriter lends to more bright colors. I don't know. would love to hear your opinion on that. Do you think it would look good with more like, I don't know, neutral colors or rich toned colors? Cut that off right there and I think we're good to go. All right. Pretty! I love it! So happy! Let's get some dimensionals on this little baby and stick it down to the card. Let's see. And then one little twist that I did with this card, which I didn't do with the previous one that I made, that I'll show you that one in a minute too, but I did cut out a little piece of this incredibly fabulous paper right here, wondering if it would go nicely right here. It's kind of like a little platform for the typewriter to sit on. So let's just do a little diagonal cut there and see how this looks before I stick these down. Yeah, I think that's going to look really nice. So I'll go ahead and commit at this point. Where's my adhesive? It's almost like a placemat that it's sitting on, I think. So just set that there. And that's sticking out from the card a little bit, but that's all right. It'll probably be just fine. Make sure that this sticks behind. Like that. Whoops. Good enough. Dimensional. And finally make sure that that's all lined up just right and that my friends is it how about that little glittery uh, placemat or desk mat <laughs> here's the one that I made in preparation for um, well this is the one I was making when I was working on the Great American Stampin show and that I did end up using a yellow typewriter on that one which is why I didn't show this one in that video but then tonight I wanted something different than yellow so I wasn't only doing yellow typewriters Here's one more that I made. This is kind of a different look, but um, I love this. I wanted, a, there was this bright pink typewriter. There's a few of them out there. They're, called, they're Royal brand um, vintage typewriters. I really wanted them so expensive. So then I just decided to make my own. But this, we don't have a pink this color. So I mixed white with um, Melon Mambo, I think, and just mixed that up and then stamped it and then embossed over the top. And this is the same technique that I used at, um, in my Great American Stampin' Show video where you're outlining and letting that pop out. And then this behind, it might look like DSP, but all it is is stripes drawn across a piece of regular cardstock. So there you have it. You've got three fun Just My Type projects. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you're feeling like if you haven't bought this stamp set that you really need it now. So if you're in that category, let me know. 
I can hook you up with a link to buy this stamp set and any of the other supplies that you want to go with it. And next week, I promise you a different stamp set. <laughs> That's it. Thanks for joining me. Enjoy your week. Bye-bye.